Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about what's going on in my life, an update. I've been saying I want to do one of these for a little bit now, and I think it's time. It is time to talk about myself, basically. A lot has been happening in my life, and I just wanted to let you guys know about it so you're not completely thrown off. And I have been mentioning these things a lot, like kind of low key on Snapchat, Twitter, um, in vlogs, I don't know, things like that. So if maybe you missed one of those things here or there, um, or you're not following me, I will leave every link below as always. But um, I just, I don't really know exactly where I want to go with this. I'm just going to kind of talk it out. So we'll see. But I am graduating high school in less than a month. Less than a month. Which is crazy because I know this is not all I've ever known, but it's like honestly what it feels like at this point in my life. Like it feels like high school has been 17 years compared to just four. And I mean I've been at the same school for six years, so it feels even longer than that. Which is craziness, you guys. And I don't know, I'm just feeling like I need to just talk about my feelings at the moment. And um, I also like to document what's going on in my head so I can watch these back in like 10 years and be like, whoa, like, you were so small, bro, like, mm, you know. <laughs> I am going to be graduating uh, very soon, beginning of June, and that's just exciting and scary and surreal and sad and happy and so many different things, right? Um, but before that, I have prom, which is even... More, I mean, not. I wouldn't say it's even more exciting than graduating high school, um, but it's very exciting. It's a lot more fun and woo, you know. Um, so I think I want to do a prom get ready with me. I've been thinking about that, and I did one of those last year, and I kind of like looking back on it every now and then, just because I don't know. It's kind of cool just to see how I got ready for prom. I don't know why, but I think I'm gonna do one of those this year. I got a new dress. If you watched my vlog a few weeks ago. It was called like haul and new prom dress or something. I got a new one. So basically why I got a new one. I loved that one and I thought that was it. And um, a few weeks ago, maybe maybe a week ago actually, I'm not really sure, very recently, um, I went to try to get it altered because different things on the dress needed to be fixed. And they were like, we really can't ensure that what we're doing to the dress is going to fit you any better just because I guess there wasn't a lot of fabric on the sides to work with, um, a lot of extra fabric I guess, and the dress also has like a bunch of jewels on it and like rhinestones and crystals so it would just be very very difficult. So my mom and I were thinking and we just figured that honestly for the price it would be to possibly probably not fix the dress enough, we should just return it and buy a new one. So we did that. And I do have a new one, and I honestly do love it a lot more than the original one, which is great. Um, and I think I'm going to make you guys wait out, wait on, wait out on that one. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, so you'll definitely have to just wait until prom, or maybe a little bit after. I think I'll definitely try to post a picture on Instagram of my uh, dress and me in it on prom, and then you'll see it in a vlog or video form or something else like that. A little bit after probably. I got a job for the summer so this is my first like basically full-time job I would say. Um, it's slightly shy of technically full-time. Um, I think full-time is 40 hours a week right? So I'm working I think 32 hours a week or something like that in an office job and it's very adult of me you know and I'm kind of excited about it. Obviously I'm not really sure what to expect and it's gonna be very intense and scary and exciting and great to save up money for school and you know a little bit of fun spending money for the summer and all that so I don't know how videos are gonna go for this summer because last summer I didn't you know go to work I just did YouTube so I was able to just post basically all the time and film all the time and it was great but I just thought that for practicality reasons I should take this job opportunity and not completely over YouTube I think I'm still going to try to post every other day I don't know how it's gonna happen but if you think about it I basically go to school full-time and I still make this work so I think I'll be able to make it work in the summer too um, at least I want to make it until June 18th which will be one year of posting every other day on this channel so I know for a fact that will happen 
because it has to happen. Um, but I'm not really sure how all this is going to go after that. We'll definitely have to see. I don't want to make any dedicated promises, but I'm basically like 99.9% .9 sure that everything will be okay. College is definitely going to be different with posting and trying to do all of that, so I'm not really sure how, how that's going to go, but maybe I'll film an update video while either you know, while I'm there or whatever. I'm not really sure yet how that's all gonna play um, out, but we'll see. And also, um, I know this will be like basically two update videos within a month or so, but I do want to film a little, probably like webcam update right before I graduate high school. So either that morning of or the day before, and then I want to film a little bit after, the day of after I graduate or the next day, um, just because I want to get both perspectives of how I'm feeling and stuff, and it might be like no different at all. I might be like, I'm gonna graduate. I graduated. That's it. Um, but it might not be. It might be kind of more exciting and fun. Um, I only have a few more... I have like a week left of classes and then I'm out for the summer, which is exciting. Obviously, then I'll have to do graduation and all those you know, academic ceremonies and um, little get-together senior party kind of things. Not like parties, but you know, the things that the school puts on and all the different stuff. So that's going to be a lot of stuff to go on to. So I mean, I am like very, very, very busy for the next month, I would say. I mean, and then I'll have work. So just bear with me throughout all of that. I mean, I'll still be posting and uploading and that's the same word, just two different ways, but you know, it's a lot of unknowns right now. I didn't really tell you guys who my prom date is, and you guys actually know him from my videos, and I think I've only ever filmed with one guy, so it's pretty darn obvious, but if you are trying to figure it out, go through my videos, or if you've been with me since last year, you might already know the one guy that I filmed with, and that's who I'm going with the prom, so, you know, I'll leave it out in the air for now, but yeah, I'm really excited about that too. How do I feel right now? about leaving high school. Let's talk about that, like my actual feelings compared to just being very general, like excited, sad, nervous, excited, I don't know. Um, if I'm gonna be very like open with you guys, I am very torn, I guess, about leaving. And I think a lot of people are, um, but probably me, everyone's different, so I think my reasons are probably different than the next person's, but I'm kind of just sad about it because, you know, this is where I've been for six years of my life and I have made so many memories in there and not only good memories like I've made horrible memories there too and it's just really weird to leave all that behind just basically in one day just pack everything up and go which I just I can't really fathom right now and I'm excited to move on obviously I think it's time for me to move on um, senior year I think was the hardest year of my life like not academically or anything more of just everything else. It was just not a good year. Um, but then there were also great parts, you know, so every year has good and bad parts. But for me personally, I just feel like this year wasn't the best it could have been, but I did make the most of what I got. I'm feeling very sentimental. I'm feeling like, thank God I'm leaving. I'm feeling like I know once I leave, I'm going to miss it. Um, I don't know. There's just so much going on. I just can't keep up, honestly. It's weird, like it's so weird. I drive by my school a lot to go to the gym and um, it's on. I'm on a highway and then I can see my school off in a distance and whenever I drive by to go to the gym I just look at that school and I'm just like, that building, like, it, it housed so many different things for me in there, you know? Like, I dated people there, I broke up with people there, I found friends there, I lost friends there. I became confident there, I lost confidence, I, I mean, maybe not in that order, I think I lost, I didn't have confidence and I got it throughout the years, but you know what I mean. Like there are so many different things that happened in that one space and it's just crazy and with all those people too and weird, I'm weird so hear me out, but I feel like I'm gonna miss the little things especially like how I walk to, I can't think of a class, this is very general. I'll walk to math class and see this one person standing outside of their classroom every day and we don't even really make eye contact but they're just always there. Like things like that I'm just going to miss, like the routine factor I guess. Um, or one person I sit next to in that one class who I've never talked to before or barely talked to but 
you know, they're just, they were always there, you know, things like that. Um, it's just going to be really hard, I think, to leave, which, <sighs> see, I'm kind of sad about it. Um, but I'm also very excited, so it's, it's hard to kind of pinpoint where I am. I don't know, but I'm so excited to just to have four fresh years of life ahead of me that are in a new space with new people and new, and new everything and I'm just ready for it for sure. I'm definitely ready for it. But at the same time, I do want to go back and visit my high school. I've lost a lot of friends these past four years or technically six years, but I've also made so many new ones, especially this past year of my life. I've made a lot of friends. I'm going to go back and visit them, for sure. Um, I just... yeah. It's a lot. It is a lot to think about. Yeah. So I think I'm going to go, just because I'm not really sure what else to say. But, um, basically to wrap it all up, I'm going to keep trying for YouTube. Um, I won't let this be a back burner thing. But if I ever miss an upload day, just bear with me, hear me out. I really, really don't want that to ever be an option. I'm very hard on myself when it comes to YouTube, I guess. Um, a video a few days ago wasn't uploading because my Wi-Fi wasn't working. Um, I think it was down on my entire street or something like that. But um, it was out and it just, like froze and it wasn't uploading anymore and I think the video was taking an hour and 30 minutes to upload because it was the vlog and it was like 20 minutes and I was gonna set an alarm super early so I could upload or I was gonna do different things so it could upload and I actually got it uploaded I let it upload while I was, sleep while I was sleeping but I like make sacrifices for my channel and probably sometimes they compromise my health or my um, mental stability or my sleep cycle, but it's what I love doing, which is, once again, probably not the best thing in the world, but I don't know. You make sacrifices for what you love, I guess, so that's what I do. So I'm gonna go, but I love you guys so much, and let me know what you're going through for the end of the school year, for next year. Like, what are your big changes in life? Um, yeah, even though I'm getting a technical, real job this year, um, I'm still gonna stick with this, and even though I'm going to college, I'm still gonna stick with this, because this means so much to me, I won't let it slide. Um, yeah, so, I love you. And if I ever, for some odd reason, miss an upload day, check my social media, I will always alert you on there. Um, but like I said, I really don't think that's gonna happen, just because I won't let it happen, so. Yeah, I love you guys so much, I hope you're having an incredible day, night, morning, evening, or brunch. Yep. So please be sure to subscribe, put thumbs up, and all that jazz. Ah. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Let me love you too, feel alright.